All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do a bit of a setup video for you. I know I did one probably about six months to nine months ago on the channel, but that was when I was in my old house. And since moving to this house, I have done like a, a, a house tour on the Spen and Alex channel, which you should check out if you haven't seen it already. There's a link in the description. But I haven't really shown you my office and the changes I've made to my office. So I'm going to take you in there and show you some new bits and just so you can see how I work. I know a lot of you always comment below and ask what sort of gear I use and how I make my videos, etc. So I thought I'd show you, let's go in. So this is the office, you've probably seen this in a number of videos already. Um, it's pretty standard stuff, there's a few new things I want to talk about. Uh, obviously you've got the green screen there, but let's start with this wall here. So this is my backdrop, and as you can see it's come a long way since uh, I started first making videos in this house. Now, the first thing obviously jumps out, I use the Wembley Cup picture, I got this, fr oh, sorry, Wembley Cup shirt I should say. I got my shirt framed, this is the shirt I wore at the match. And you've got Spencer FC thing here, Wembley Cup badge and Wembley Cup 2015 Spencer FC 5, Cyber United 2. So that's just a really nice sort of memento from the day. I've got this frame here which my brother got me when I hit a million subscribers. You can see the lights and the reflection. You see these lights in the reflection? This is part of the battle I have to deal with when I'm making my video over here because I need to make sure that it doesn't reflect too much. Even though you can see a lot of glare in the lights now, remember the way the camera is set up normally, doesn't show up as much as you can see, it's, it's not as noticeable. Anyway, so when odds are one in a million, be that one. My brother made that for me, or got that made for me, it was really nice of him, so thanks Seb for that. I've also got this new picture, which is to commemorate uh, West Ham, uh, obviously last season at Upton Park. Um, farewell bowling, just good memories, lovely stadium, it's going to be sad to see that go in like less than a year from now, that's going to be gone, that's going to be knocked down. Got a little number plate for the bowling ground as well, so that's that. I uh, love those pictures. Let's talk more about this wall. So as you can see, I've got these selection of posters. We've got Rooney, Ronaldo, Suarez, Henri, Payet, Gerard, Ibra, uh, Beckham. We've got another Ibra. We've got a few duplicates. Ronaldo again. Akin Venwa. Another Dimitri Payet. Big one. A Gascoigne, Donovan. I've uh, got Jamie Vardy behind here. I particularly like what I've got going here. Oops. I've got Giggs next to the Giggs card. I've got Neville. Next to the Neville card, let's just pick him back up again. So there's a nice little bit of symmetry between Giggs and Neville there, which I like. Who else have we got? We've got Shearer, we've got Sanchez, we've got Cantona, another Rackin' Fenwar, Kane, Joe Hart, Drogba, Suarez again. These are miniature ones. And I've got some more on the floor I haven't put up yet. Uh, David Silva for Man City, uh, David Luiz, PSG, George Best, legend in the game. Uh, Daniel Sturridge doing his celebration. Roy Keane as well. Now these are all provided by these guys here, Icon 11. Can you see at the bottom of the um, poster? Really nice guys, Icon 11. They sent me all these posters to put on my backdrop. I'm going to put a link in the description in case you want to get some of these. This is something else they sent me as well. You can enjoy 15% off your next order with code Icon Family. So if you want to actually get a discount, uh, use that bad boy code. And that's the website there, icon11.co.uk. So thank you very much to Icon 11 for providing them. Let's take a look over here. Most of these things were with me in my last setup. Well, we've got my 200k plaques for Spencer C and Spen and Alex. Still waiting for the million uh, subscriber plaque. It's been like three or four months now, but it is coming. I've got my captain's armband, I've got my World Cup. I've got a trophy I won with my five side team, uh, another trophy. Uh, I've got the Joe Surtees Memorial. This is the game me and my buddies played in memory of my mate that died. This is the Wembley Cup itself. Got the Wembley Cup here, got the challenge pots from Wheel of Fortune. I've got my Spencer FC Mitre Ball. I've got my gloves with our other buddy who died's name on there. I've got every legend card in FIFA. That's pretty cool. Um, I've got some <laughs> I've got some West Ham cutouts. We've got an Enna Valencia model here. And I think, is this Zerate, this one? Yeah, we've got a Mauro Zerate one as well. Got some books. These are some really cool football journals called The Blizzard that come out. I really like reading these, like long form football journalist content. Um, historic History of East Farrock, which is a good little read. Obviously, we've got the Wheel of Foot tune here. Important part of my life. We've got a whiteboard for writing notes on. I've hidden some notes with some pieces of paper. Just because it's top secret stuff, which is going to come on the channel at some point, that you guys are going to have to wait for. But some good plans there. Got a very limited amount of soundproofing. Basically, so much of this is in shot. But I can't actually use too much of this, but I'm just, I've got some more to put up actually, but I'm just going to get as much up as possible. We've got the backdrop here, we've got the lights, we've got the curtains. We've actually got more soundproofing in this bag. That's more of that soundproofing stuff. We've got a West Ham calendar here. Um, 
and I'm going to put that up on the wall over there once I've got a nail up. One thing I should say about West Ham, if you guys are interested, is I'm going to do a competition. If you're a West Ham fan or you know someone that is, uh, particularly aged between 6 and 12, there's an opportunity for them to be a West Ham mascot, actually walk out onto the pitch at the West Ham Man City game coming up. I'll leave details in the description about how you can enter that, that giveaway, but um, essentially someone's going to get to go to, to Upton Park the last time ever Man City come and play there this season in a couple of weeks. So check it out if you're a West Ham fan, you've got a young boy, maybe you've got a son or maybe you've got a brother or maybe you're between those ages yourself and you want to do it, details in the description. That's provided by Umbro as well. Massive thanks to Umbro for doing that for us. Now a lot of this setup is the same as it was before. I'm still using the same TV, I've got the same monitors, same camera I use for a lot of my content, although the one I'm holding now I use a lot as well, which I'll tell you more about later. I've got the same mic, um, I've got a few extra bits here. I think I showed this in an Instagram post, but I was sent this by the guys from PlayStation, which is really cool. Look at that, custom gold controller. So thanks to PlayStation for that. Now I've shown this custom Spencer FC controller quite a lot, but I actually got sent another one from the guys from Acidic Gaming, um, seeing Spencer FC on it as well, when I was doing the Christmas giveaway, so thank you to Acidic Gaming for that as well, legends. Now I also wanted to talk to you about the future, and I've got some new things which I haven't used in videos yet, which are gonna take the content to the next level. Now this camera is called a Canon C100. It's really, really top quality. It's like a professional camera. Um, it can shoot at 60 frames per second, uh, so I could actually use 60 frames per second kind of uh, face cam footage to go with 60 frames per second Elgato or game capture footage, which will make the videos look really slick. So look forward to that coming forward. Underneath that, I've got a really, really good microphone, which I'm going to start using soon. Unbelievable quality. I mean, my mic up there is good. This mic is next level. So hopefully you should see a step up in the professionalism of the content soon, uh, which is something that I feel quite strongly about. This is a cool little gizmo. I got this off Amazon. This is just a, a separate uh, Xbox One controller charger. What you do is you put these different things on the back of your controllers. You see these are slightly different backdrops. You actually have to put them on. You take the normal backdrop, like sort of back off. You put these on and you sit it on here. I'll show you if I plug it in. Now can you see that it lights up? So if it's red, it means it's charging. And when it goes green, it means it's fully charged. So you can just leave the controller on that overnight, pick it up the next day and it's fully charged. So it's a good little gizmo that. I'll leave a link to that in the description in case you want to pick one up. I've got some other little bits here to show you. I, I use radio mics quite a lot now. This is just one half of a radio mic. This is a, a receiver, I think. Um, but when I go and do shoots with footballers, I use radio mics, which help a lot. Now this gizmo links to that because this is actually something that you can actually attach underneath a camera like this. Now, this camera has one mic input, so you can have one radio mic. So if I went to radio mic myself, I could do that with this camera, but I couldn't do two. For instance, if I was interviewing, you know, a footballer like Akin Fenwa or Jordan Henderson, we wouldn't be able to put two radio mic inputs into here. But if you put this gizmo underneath, which just screws in underneath to the tripod mount, you can actually have two uh, radio mics going in. You can monitor them on here, and it still goes into the same sound file, and it's all like integrated, but it's quite clever. Again, I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to pick one of those, only really if you're using radio mics and stuff do you need that, but it's a really cool little little gadget. And I picked up this thing recently as well, which I'll show you in more detail in the mirror. Now I said I was going to talk more about this camera in a little bit, and there's good reason for that, it's because I love it, okay? And um, this is one little extra I bought for it. Now, the one weakness this camera has is when you're filming outside in the wind, it can get quite windy, and that can show through on the footage. But what you can do is you can buy this bad boy, now you, I don't, you can't actually see, but on top of here there's a little velcro attachment here which I've put on. And what I can do is just attach this like this, it velcros on so it's not going to come off. Now it looks a bit funny, I know, but it basically completely cuts out the wind sounds. It's really good, takes this camera to the next level. And honestly, this is a camera I recommend above all else if you're getting into YouTube, you want to start vlogging or whatever. It has a flip up screen like this, which again, you might want to take this off if you're using that. And it's just got loads of really good options. Um, 60 frames per second as well, which is what we're recording at now. So all my movements look really quick, which they wouldn't look like if I was doing on a normal 25 or 30 frames per second output. It's called the G7X, it's a Canon camera. Honestly, it's really good. And what I've done for you guys, because I want to help you out as much as possible, is I got talking to some of my friends at a company called the London Camera Exchange, who sell cameras, and they're prepared to do Spencer FC fans a special deal on this camera. This is only if you're interested in buying one. Obviously, if you don't want to get one, don't bother. But if you are, you can get a really good discount. These usually RRP are around £380, right? Which seems quite a lot, but for what this camera can do, that's, I mean, that's half the price of the 70D I've got over there. But the London Camera Exchange guys are doing a special deal, as you can see here, Spencer FC Special, where it's just £329. That's a £50 saving, and they're giving away this bad boy, a free Manfrotto uh, tripod. I'll show you what that looks like now. It looks like this. It's really handy. It's a portable tripod. It's got a quick release button on it so you can actually get the camera off really quickly, move it around. It's quite clever like that. So this 
and the camera for £329, which is a big saving. That's cheaper than Amazon. If you want the G7X and you want this tripod, I recommend you click the link to the London Camera Exchange in the description, okay? I've got a few other little bits to show you before we finish the setup video. I use these bad boys to put up a lot of the things on the wall. Uh, they're just like portable kind of um, hooks, really. I use them quite a lot. Uh, they're quite handy. There's some Velcro ones there, which is what I'm using to put up all the pictures on the wall back there, like the Wembley Cup jersey and stuff. But these are quite good for hanging other things like shirts, for example, or whatever. Um, this is actually the remnants of an amazing goodie bag I was sent by the Xbox guys. Oh, look, the controller's green. It's fully charged already. That's another thing. That thing charges the controllers really quickly. Um, so I gave away a lot of these things uh, in the Christmas giveaway already, but I've got some more things to give away, which I'll give away in the next few weeks, probably on Twitch. Uh, Stereo headset, so make sure you do follow me on Twitch, there's a link in the description. That's an Xbox One stereo headset. This is a controller and wireless adapter for Windows, so this means you can actually use your Xbox controller on your computer or your laptop. That's really clever. Uh, what else have we got in here? Digital TV tuner, Xbox One. Oh, Halo Master Chief controller, don't mind if I do. Another digital TV tuner, and then I think that's about it. Just some green hay. If you want some green hay, you can have that as well. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, give, I'll do those giveaways at some point in the future. <sighs> but that's about it for today's setup video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about my setup or anything else you want to know, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try and get back to those of you uh, that have got a question. I've got more. I've got to put those other posters up on the wall as well. Those ones I showed you on the floor. Uh, those bad boys. So I've got to decide where they're going to go. Maybe I need to fill up that space a little bit. Uh, but the thing is, when I stand like this in my videos, this isn't quite the same angle, but the video angle is something like this. You don't see a lot of the posters that are directly behind my head. So I need to put some more in this area here. Maybe even move on to this wall as well. I don't know. But that's it. That's my setup video. Um, just want to make one thing clear. You don't need all this gear to be a YouTuber, okay? Obviously the great thing about YouTube is you can do anything you know, on your phone or on a really expensive camera like the one I've got down there. But the most important thing is you have what you need to start off if you're starting on YouTube. And I've got all this stuff because you know, I'm interested in it all, I'm interested in, in, in making like good content, but I've, it's my job. I've been doing it for a number of years now. I need this content on a regular basis. Uh, you guys don't necessarily need it straight off the bat. I honestly think the G7X is a good starting point. If you can afford it, obviously the London Camera Exchange discount is going to be helpful for that. Uh, you can do a lot of things with it. Uh, it's really good quality. You know, I use it in all my West Ham vlogs. I use this camera. Uh, all the Spen and Alex content, pretty much, we use this camera. A lot of the stuff we did skiing, we use this camera. Uh, whenever I go out and about, like to the El Clasico, I use this camera. So it is really decent. But the most important thing you need is passion. And is to be interested in making YouTube videos. And that's the only thing you really have to have. Everything else is, you know, is all dependent on what sort of videos you want to make. But best of luck to you all if you are interested in starting YouTube videos. Or even just some videos for fun, for your friends and family, whatever. Uh, I hope you all have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I've got lots of top quality series and new content coming on the channel soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, don't forget if you want to be a West Ham mascot, the Man City game, where you know someone that is, get involved in that. There's a link in the description as well. Check out the Icon 11 guys. Thank you to them for providing the posters. And I'll see you next time. Until then, don't go changing.